Good morning. I think we will start our event. Welcome to Microtech user meeting, Middle East, United Arab Emirates. Um, meanwhile, people are coming. We will be starting. So I think we are here for the second time. Um, together, people from neighbor countries in Dubai. Uh, we will have the entire day, we will have presentations, then at the end of the day we will have a uh, lottery, and then there will be an official part on the hall where we can speak, drink some drinks, beer, <laughs> and juice, and speak about the things. Uh, so there will be the entire day. Uh, today we will have a presentation from people around. Uh, the first one will be my presentation about Microtech new products that are released uh, maybe in a few months or about some new ones that will be released uh, soon. And uh, as well we will speak about some rotors features that are new now. And this is the first, the very, very first part will be the introduction, uh, where we will speak about our company and uh, about the things that we will do here. So the first, uh, our company, Microtic. Uh, the name Microtic came, by the way, from small ISP. If you translate it from Latvian, it is small ISP, because long, long time ago, 20 years before, when we started our company, our company was like internet service provider. We were making internet, uh, installing uh, wireless antennas and links. And uh, once we started uh, our company, very soon we realized that uh, all operation systems that were available on the market, they like not good for us. So we started to make uh, not like we started, but we saw that maybe it will be good to make our own operation system that is called Microtech Rotoros, uh, which we are making already for 90 years. And we started like from making uh, very basic functions. We put very basic functions inside, and now uh, Microtech Rotoros has uh, all features that are required for any wireless ISP small home or big server uh, server room or uh, by our understanding there is all features that are required to run uh, any ISP uh, services. And uh, after making Microtech Rotoros we find out that uh, maybe all those uh, devices that were available on the market they were uh, like not suitable for us, especially we didn't like too much to put big x86 boxes on the top. And that's why we decided to try with uh, making rotor board. And uh, in 2002, we made the first rotor board. It was a rotor board 230, old, big, and expensive. And uh, now we are making uh, many different rotor boards. All our rotor boards uh, that we are making uh, in the brochure that you got. In the back you have a product catalog with all devices that we are making. But um, all the time if you want to find out what are the actual ones, what are the actual products, you go to our page, rotorboard.com, and you will find uh, all the information, prices, uh, technical specification, boundaries test, all such information is available on rotorboard.com. And uh, if you want to find out if this product is still selling, so if it is there, it means it is actual one. And then at some point, we started to make Microtech user meetings as uh, we were communicating with our clients by, mm, by emails mostly. Uh, and uh, we find out that it is not like very, uh, we are, we are not getting very good feedback from you. So we decided uh, to, to, meet, to, to go and meet you in person. And after the first one meeting in Prague, it was 10 years ago, um, we realized that it's very good uh, for us 
uh, all that feedback that we are getting from you and uh, all the information are helping us very much to make new products and make new features. So that's why we are making Microtech user meetings all around the world and we are coming to every places where, where you are for using Microtech rotors and rotor boards. And uh, the biggest Microtech user meeting we had in uh, we had in uh, Indonesia, there was 2,500 people, a little bit bigger than we have here, but uh, uh, they have many people living there, so it's fine. Uh, at the moment, at the Microtech, we have uh, 180 employees. Uh, most of them are working in logistics, but uh, also we have uh, mm, developers support and so on. So we are at the moment 100 180 people who are working in Microtech. Uh, this is uh, the place where we are coming from. Uh, this is a map of Europe. Uh, we are located in Latvia, uh, Riga. Everything that we are making, like Microtech rotors, mm, almost half of rotor boards are coming from Riga, Latvia. This is the only place uh, where is our office. We don't have uh, offices anywhere else. Uh, we are coming from Riga. Um, Riga is a very beautiful city. If you go to Europe, uh, go to Latvia and go to Riga. Uh, that is the place where we are going from. Uh, yeah, as, uh, as I said, we are making Microtech user meetings all around the world and uh, by now we have more than 100 Microtech user meetings that were done. Uh, from Microtech, uh, there are many people coming. This is a very, very huge team that came here. Uh, you can recognize us by, by this red shirt. Most of us are in a red shirt. The only person who is not in a red shirt is Edmunds. Uh, he is from sales. He is from sales and uh, if you have any questions about sales, you can ask him. Uh, then we have Kaspers. Then we, then we have, excuse me about that. Of course. Uh, then we have Kaspers. Uh, he is uh, the guy that is responsible for training. Uh, we have trainers here. Uh, at the end of the event, we will have trainer update. Uh, if you are not informed about it, uh, you come to Kasper and you will get all necessary information that is required. Uh, then we have uh, technical support guys here. Uh, Uldis, he is on the registration desk. He is not here. Uh, he is our main wireless main wireless guy. So if you have any questions about wireless, uh, the Uldis, Uldis is the right guy to ask. Uh, then we have Yanis Megis. Uh, he is also from technical support. He is doing the thing with cloud core routers, traffic control, firewall, stuff like that. Then we have uh, Normans. Uh, he's our general support, so you can ask something to him, or maybe take a picture with him, with him if you like. Uh, then we have Martin Strotz, uh, who is also at registration desk, uh, who is doing general support. Uh, and my name is Sergei. I'm also from technical support. Uh, any kind of technical questions you want to ask, you, want, you can ask me. So we are in the red shorts and uh, any question you have, just come to our registration desk and we will try to help you. Uh, the schedule for today, so there will be presentation until 12.15 uh, and then at 12.15 we will have lunch. Those who have paid for the registration, you got that yellow ticket. Uh, you will get that yellow ticket and go to the elevator on the right and go to the 20th floor to the place which is called Plaza and there you will get the lunch. For those who don't have ticket, you can get, go somewhere around uh, and get the lunch. And we will be back at uh, 1.45. There will be other presentation by our clients and um, at the end, at five o'clock, we will have lottery. 
and it's like our tradition to give some more rotor boards. As uh, everybody of you got already one rotor board, black WAP, I guess. And there will be a chance to get some more rotor boards that we bring with us, uh, more valuables and uh, more bigger. And uh, after the raffle, we'll have uh, an official communication party. You can call it like that. Uh, there will be drinks and uh, beer for those people who are allowed to drink beer. Uh, for those who are not allowed, there will be juices and soft drinks. If uh, somebody in your office that uh, didn't come here and you want uh, to show him what is going on, he can go to our YouTube channel, to YouTube slash Microtech, and there will be live uh, feed from the event, from the camera, all the presentations and everything uh, are recorded. As well, after the event, when the event is over, uh, you will be you will have a chance to uh, get all the presentation videos, slides, and uh, see them on moon.microtech.com. Uh, for the help in organizing this event, we would like to say a special thank you to Alpha Technology. They helped us to bring the stuff here to get those rotor boards, t-shirts that are printed in Latvia and sent here. Uh, so thanks for them. I guess they are uh, in the uh, exhibitor hall, uh, busy, or maybe not so busy with the person around. And uh, yes. So let's move to new products. As I said, uh, there will be introduction part, and uh, now <coughs> we will have some new products that are released, maybe like a few months ago, or about some new ones that are not released yet, and uh, will be released in the near future. So the first one, uh, the first product is LIG. It's is our five gigahertz antenna that is uh, released and available for sale. Uh, it is uh, a very affordable device to make uh, medium range wireless link, uh, very light and uh, that allows you to make quite normal distance of the wireless link and uh, the price is almost the same as the 60 so it is very very affordable and uh, you can buy it now already. Uh, as well we are making uh, the device for uh, LHDs that you can better position the antenna so you can attach you it to your LHD and make a positioning in a vertical or horizontal uh, adjustment if it is required and uh, get better positioning and get more speed over your wireless link. <coughs> then we are starting uh, making LTE devices so as LTE becomes more and more popular, we are making uh, new devices that are specially designed for LTE networks and also there will be devices that will work with the 3G. Uh, the first one is SXT LTE that is uh, true LTE device that doesn't have 3G. Uh, it is the same uh, device as was the 60 but instead of wireless unit you have a 4G modem inside and uh, you can uh, make and provide internet to the RS where mm, mobile signal is not so good. So you can put it somewhere on your mast and get the internet inside. At the moment uh, that uh, SXT is uh, with the three category modem and uh, in our test in Latvia we got like 100 megabits download and uh, five, uh, 50 megabits down upload. Uh, all that you need just to put the SIM card to, to the slot and connect to your network and get the internet. But uh, in the beginning of 2017, there will be another device coming for LTE. It is WAP LTE kit. Uh, this one uh, is the same as the WAP, but additional to the wireless interface, it will have also 3G or 4G modem inside. Uh, as well, there will be device without a modem, so you can put your own modem and uh, 
use it in your wireless networks and uh, make a wireless access point or connect Ethernet. It comes in the same case as the old VAP. Uh, the same, you can put it inside, you can put it outside, you can uh, install it on a vehicle, bus, or something like that. Uh, it is weatherproof, so uh, if it is rainy or snow or, I don't know, sand, mm, it still will be working outside, so you will be able to get uh, 3G, 4G, and uh, wireless and Ethernet from that device. As well, we will have Apple T on our uh, table. If uh, if you have some like special LTE bands that you need in your countries, then you can come to our desk and tell them about us. As uh, at the moment we are considering what kind of modems we will put inside. So if you have some specific uh, 3G, 4G bands in your country, so come to us and tell us about it. Uh, then we are making uh, updates for many products and we are adding AC support for devices that uh, were working in 5 gigahertz N, um, but uh, we are updating the AC. So for example, Groove, it was uh, before just Groove 52, now it is Groove 52 IC. So in the 5 gigahertz it has uh, support for uh, IC standards and you can get high speed wireless link. The same is the update for the Metal. Uh, we had Metal 52, now it is met Metal 52 AC. So more speed over wireless you can get with that device and uh, make more speed on the wireless link. Uh, then we are updating uh, the map. That is already updated. All new maps, if you are buying maps, the new ones are coming with uh, dual chain wireless. So previously it was a map with one chain. Now it is a two chain. It means that you can uh, get more speed on wireless. And uh, that uh, new map is coming with IF AT support. So you can connect it to your switch, to your power switch, and uh, power it on. In our office, uh, we have like, I don't know, like 50, di 50 different vendor switches uh, that we're making test. And uh, this map was tested with them. And uh, we, s we are thinking that it should work with every switch that is correctly supporting the app at a standard and you can power it. Uh, then we have uh, VAP IC. Uh, it is uh, similar to VAP that you got, but uh, it has a dual band wireless, de wireless device, so you can make 2.45 gigahertz uh, uh, network with it, and uh, as well it has IC support. So on the 5 gigahertz it allows to make uh, high speed wireless, and uh, as you see on that slide, you can mount it easily to to the wall, to the ceiling, uh, or anywhere else. Uh, the same can comes with the VAP that you got. In the same way you can attach it anywhere, in the ceiling, on the wall, uh, anywhere you can imagine. Uh, the next product that uh, got updated is CAP, is Sailing Access Point. Uh, previously it got uh, also one chain wireless and now it has dual chain wireless. So uh, if you want to install, if you need to install it in a hotel, you just put it on Sailing and uh, with that device you get more speed than before. Before it was one chain for the wireless, it is uh, 150 megabits uh, I rate now you got dual chain, so it's 300 megabit I rate on wireless. And uh, as well as MAP, it now it comes with the IFAT support, so uh, you can power it with a switch, with a, with a compliant switch, and use that device on hotels or in similar places. The next device that is already, that is also available in the market, it is HEP IC. Uh, it's like uh, our universal soldier, we can call like that. The device has everything inside. Uh, it has five gigabit Ethernet ports, one SFP for fiber optics, one USB port for, I don't know, for 3G, 4G modem or for USB disk. And uh, it has dual band wireless. 
So you can make 2.4 GHz links, access points, and uh, connect all the clients to it. And uh, as most of our Soho devices, uh, it comes with the power over Ethernet on port 5. So if you need to power the device nearby your hub, you just plug the Ethernet cable and power it without additional power cord. Uh, the next device uh, that is also already available is a 66 gigahertz. Uh, it is a special S60 that is made for making wireless leaked on 6 gigahertz. So if anywhere in your country 6 gigahertz is, are allowed, you can use it in the range that you see on the slide. So it, uh, from 594 to 6.5. Uh, in some countries, these frequencies are allowed, and uh, if 5 gigahertz is overcrowded, you can put that SXT on your on your wireless link and use it. It comes with the same uh, with the same parameters and also with the same price as regular SXT. Uh, the next is wireless card. So, if somebody of you are still using mini PCI wireless cards. Uh, in Microtech, we don't use them too much as now, but uh, still there are some persons who are using these cards, and uh, if you're making wireless link with uh, uh, x86 boxes, we updated that wireless card, so you can uh, use it in your devices where such are required, and uh, make wireless links. Uh, the next device that also got the update for RC is 951. So previously it was uh, also with N support, now it has IC. And uh, this device is uh, used in uh, custom installations that you can put in some antenna, put in some box, and uh, make your own solution and then sell it to customers. So this is also now available in the 5 gigahertz IC. So you can get more speed on wi your wireless link. Uh, the next device that uh, will be coming in the Q4, uh, it is Hexpoia. So it is a small Ethernet device with a 5 gigabit ports, and it will provide power on four ports for four devices in a gigabit. So uh, we can call it like a smart power plug. So you can power some routers nearby that device and uh, Mm, provide gigabit speed. As well, we brought it with us so you can see how it looks like. Uh, it's very similar to the previous model, but it works in a gigabit. Then uh, we will update Omnitic. Uh, there will be a new Omnitic uh, with AC support. It will change the look. It will be more smoother now. But uh, it still will be only antenna. It will still will have only antenna and uh, the same, almost the same parameters that were before. But uh, with update for AC, <coughs> uh, as well as we had previously Omnitic uh, IC with the POI out, uh, we will have also power over Ethernet uh, version where you can put Omnitic on the mast and then power with the cables nearby devices. Uh, by Ethernet. And uh, as the previous model, it will have Omni antenna, and uh, all the parameters are identical to the old Omnitic that we had before. Uh, the next uh, product that is, uh, that is old and that is new, it is Hex. Uh, like uh, one week or two weeks before, we started shipping a new Hex that is uh, Hex Revision 3, we can call it. Uh, it has the same price, the same form factor, but uh, you get more speed and more features with it. So first of all, uh, it, it will have a new CPU. So it is uh, 880 megahertz CPU. Uh, it has two cores and four threads. So actually there are four cores we can call like it. So you can proceed more speed with it. And uh, one of the most important things, it has hardware acceleration. So in our test, we got something like 470 megabits on the IPSEC. Uh, previously, Hex Revision 2 allowed you to get like 
20 maybe, maybe 17. And with this device you get almost 500 megabits. And uh, for the regular traffic, uh, here's a comparison between uh, old hacks and new hacks. So you see almost, almost 1.5 or two times faster. And uh, remember the price is the same, everything's the same. You just got a free upgrade for bigger traffic uh, with the new devices and uh, as I said, you can already order it and you can receive it very, very soon. The devices, five Ethernet ports and um, much traffic over it. Um, for all our products, um, they are coming with the Microtech Rotor OS spray install and factory uh, and uh, we provide them free upgrade for life. So uh, every device that you get from us has a license. You don't need to buy, to buy the license, you don't need to upgrade the license and you don't need like to purchase additional license for it. Uh, if some of your device doesn't have license, uh, you don't need to go to Microtech.com and mm, try to purchase it but uh, you contact us first, so we will help you if there is anything with the license and uh, uh, it will come for free. Uh, the only thing that uh, if you like want to upgrade the license, if you have some devices with license level three and you want to get license level four, you will need to uh, get the additional license level four, but that's different. So all the devices come with the Microtech router OS and license on it, so do not get the license uh, do not get the additional license as your rotor board already have a license. Uh, all devices are running the same Microtech Rotor OS. It means that MAP and Cloud Core has all the same features. We don't cut any features uh, from some devices. Uh, all of them have the same. Just uh, when you consider some devices, some device for your installation, uh, of course, uh, if you put MAP in a BGP with three feeds, it might not work so well. So uh, consider about installing uh, appropriate product and uh, you will get all the features. And uh, as I said in th at the beginning, if uh, you have any questions or information, if you need any information about the specific rotor board, you go to rotorboard.com and uh, there is technical specification, some diagram. Uh, important thing here is uh, bandwidth test, uh, not like bandwidth test, but uh, there are throw output tests in different uh, configurations and uh, that will definitely help to you to select the best router board for your installation. So for um, router boards that is all, but I still have some slides about new router as features. So uh, features that we like made mm, during two or three months before. So one thing uh, is a cloud hosted router. It is like a very big step for us in uh, into virtual environment. As previously, we have Microtech routers that you installed on your uh, virtual environment and uh, there were issues with license and uh, issues with drivers on some hypervisors our products didn't work so well so we made a special uh, image that you can install in on any hypervisor almost on any but on most popular ones and uh, run routers on VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, KVM, uh, Kazan server and uh, mm, it, uh, it is a little bit different than regular routers uh, one thing that is different too much is that it, it has a X8, X64 kernel, so uh, you can install Microtech routers and get, for example, 16 gigabyte of RAM if it's required. Uh, and also it has new drivers, so you can uh, use it uh, more effectively on, uh, on the computers with a new interface and get high speed. As well, uh, cloud hosted router is available on cloud services like Amazon, Azure, and others. Like for example, on that slide, uh, if you want to get Microtech routers from Amazon, you just select Microtech routers and within a few clicks, you have installed Microtech routers and 
then you can license it and uh, use it for your uh, necessary services. Um, where can you use it? So the first uh, place where you can use it is for Dude server. As, uh, as recently we started to make the Dude again and uh, the server is, a, mm, the CHR is the thing where you can use it, one of it, but uh, of course all other MicroTik routers features are inside that cloud hosted router image, all MicroTik routers features. And uh, you can make firewall, you can make VPNs, uh, hotspot management, uh, anything that is required from the virtual device. Uh, but uh, what's important is that uh, it has different license. As uh, now, for now we had uh, four levels, like license level three, license level four, level five, and level six. But uh, in cloud hosted router, it is different. We have uh, uh, four types available, and um, uh, the limitation that is provided, it is by speed, not by features. So it means that uh, if you get cloud-hosted router P1, you get unlimited number of clients, like hotspot clients or VPN tunnels clients, but uh, the only speed, the only limitation that we will set it is by speed. So if you have one interface, it will be one gigabit speed, one gigabit uh, traffic per that interface. If you have two interfaces, it will be one gigabit and uh, one gigabit for one, one gigabit for another. So each interface get one gigabit limitation. Uh, if you have 10 gigabit interfaces in your uh, virtual devices, you can get P10 and get 10 gigabit limit per interface. And uh, if you like the unlimited things, uh, mm, then you can get that pan limited, but uh, at the moment uh, there are not too much cards uh, that MicroTik router supports for like 100 gigabits. So at the moment uh, you can very you can live without that P unlimited and use P1 or P10. Uh, the most important things about the license it has uh, first it has 60 day trial available. So previously we had 24 hours demo license, but now it comes with a 16 days trial. It means that uh, you can install MicroTik routers and run a test for months to see if it is uh, good for you and not good for you. And uh, the license are transferable, so if you install routers and some hypervisor and then you decide just to move to another one, uh, you can transfer that license. You don't need like to try to access previously uh, and you can make transfer freely between devices without any interruption. But uh, one more thing that has changed is the way how you get the license. As previously, you used uh, four si symbol software ID, but now uh, once you install CHR on your device, you get some key that you get as system license. And uh, if you want to license it, you need to enter your MicroTicom account select the license level and send the request to MicroTik uh, com server. And then in the MicroTik com server you will uh, uh, see this request in a special menu that is specially designed for it, cloud hosted router. Uh, there will be that key that you will be able to upgrade to the level. This is like for the old license, you just select the correct uh, level and update it. And uh, if you want to transfer it, you can also transfer it from here to the different installation and mo make all necessary adjustment for the license that is required. So you don't need to put that uh, that uh, that uh, that unique system ID that uh, you have used for MicroTik routers before. It will automatically be sent to MicroTik page. And uh, once you get the license, uh, your router will check the license validity each two months, so you need like to make sure that you have access to MicroTicom at least once in two months, and then the license will be uh, automatically prolonged. And uh, once you once you get that uh, the license, you don't need to purchase it anymore, and the router will work forever. And uh, for 
Additional information, if you need about cloud-hosted router, we have a wiki page uh, where is uh, extensive documentation, how to install it, how to use it, what is it, and uh, uh, how to make it better for you. Uh, as well, we have uh, some discussion in the forum uh, where we have CHR topic, and uh, you can download uh, the image from our download page and install it on your device. Uh, the next thing uh, that uh, about Microtech router is if you using Microtech router is does anybody of you use Microtech router is yes <laughs> uh, so at least few people are using it it's good uh, in the last like uh, maybe three or four months uh, we started to work uh, with a change log uh, in more like deep way. As previously, our change log was short, but now, for example, in 6.37 uh, version, we have 120 entries there. So uh, now all the changes that are done in that particular autoros version are reflected in change log. So uh, we, s we hope it will be a good help for you. Uh, like uh, if you want to consider to upgrade or not to upgrade, you can see the entire change log and see what is changed in rotors. Like I'm saying that uh, all the changes uh, that were done in that version are reflected in change log. We are like following uh, pretty close and uh, like uh, seeing all, all the things that developers are doing and putting them in change log. So now it should be easier for you to understand what is changed in the current version. Uh, the next thing uh, that uh, we added recently to Microtech Router as its support for DNS address filtering. So as previously, we didn't have any DNS filtering. Now uh, such feature is here. So if you want to filter, block, accept, lock, I don't know, uh, any action, any firewall action with a specific domain, you go to IP firewall address list. Uh, in address list for the name, you write, you write that uh, in address, you write the DNS address, and Microtech routers will automatically resolve all the IP addresses that are used by that server. And as well, Microtech routers will keep the updates, and uh, if some addresses are changed, it also it also be uh, re-resolved again, and you will get the actual information. And uh, once you've done that list, you go to IP firewall filter, not a Mongle, and uh, you do any actions that you want with that address list and then block, lock, or do whatever you need. Uh, then, uh, this is not like more about Microtech routers, but it's more about even router boards. Uh, in a few months, we made a, like a helper for you, like a diagram with uh, our products and uh, with the distance that you can make with our products. Like with the distance, you can get a maximum speed uh, with a distance, maximal distance, you can establish wireless link. And uh, uh, this, uh, these like numbers are more theoretical, but uh, in real life they are very, very close. We have like for point to multipoint, and uh, we have for point to point. So if you like, uh, if you have clear line of sight and uh, your wireless uh, area is not too crowded, so you will get uh, almost sa same numbers that you see here. Uh, as well, mm, we are working on a wireless calculator. As uh, previous, like uh, previously, we have very, very old wireless calculator where you can put some parameters from one device from another device and like uh, simulate what the speed and distance you can get with that wireless thing. Uh, now we are making updates. It will be more, uh, more modern, and uh, it will help you more to design your wireless links. Uh, if you like need any help with our products, uh, we are always uh, you're always welcome to ask our distributors. They like uh, mm, sometimes also provide support for our devices, but uh, uh, if they're not, uh, the first option is that uh, you can uh, go to wiki.microtech.com and uh, they will have uh, Microtech Router's documentation. You can get uh, the explanation of almost any feature. Uh, 
to see how it works, see how it uses it, and uh, as well see some examples. Uh, here also we have uh, many trainings around, so you can uh, attend MicroTik training class and get more deeper knowledge in, uh, in uh, how to use MicroTik routers in your networks. As well, it's possible to hire a network MicroTik certified consultant. Uh, if you like have some project and you need some help, you can contact our consultants at uh, they are listed on microtech.com page and there is a special consultant section. And uh, if you have any like problems with the microtech router or so some problems with the router board, you can write to us uh, to support at microtech.com. Uh, we speak English. Uh, we speak some other languages, but uh, uh, you can write in English. But uh, if you like afraid to write in English, you also can do it in your own language. Then you will use Google Translate and uh, reply uh, on English. So uh, if you have any help, you can write to us and we will try to help you. Uh, when this event will be over, all the presentations that we have here will be available on our moon.microtech.com page. As well on that page, you can find all other presentations that were done in the previous event. So if you find some interesting topic, uh, you can see there how people are using MicroTik. Uh, as well, all videos uh, are available on our YouTube channel. So this presentation and all other will be there. And uh, as well, you can see other presentations there if you need. Uh, for those who paid for the MicroTik, this MicroTik event, you will get the license by email, like tomorrow or day after tomorrow and then you'll be able to use it on your x86 or CHR device. And uh, uh, if you have any questions about rotor board or MicroTik rotors, you're free to come, come to our desk. Uh, we will try to help you. So this is all from my part. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, and uh, uh, come to our desk and ask the question. Thank you. The next presentation will be by Ali Sami. Yes? You have a question. Uh, I think you will do the presentation, then you can ask me a question. I will try to help you. working. 